are. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining tonight. We have a lot of stuff to cover. Actually, there's so much going on right now. First of all, let's all do a huge, huge, huge shout out right now to Lauren Kreider for becoming an Ice Body finalist. Woo! Everybody help me. Welcome back, Jody. You scream and yell. Get off mute. Everybody scream and yell. Lauren Kreider became an Ice Body finalist today. Yay! So we are so excited for her. She has worked so hard on this over the last two and a half years. Hello. Um, over the last two and a half years to really get her body in shape, to her mind the way, place that it needs to be, and to really become a role model of helping people to have the right type of nutrition, the right type of foods, and to work at their bodies the way that, that our bodies were intended to be used. So congratulations, Lauren. We are so excited for you. All right, who is having fun with the peach mango? Raise your hands. Shout out. Isn't that fantastic? Um, peach mango, hello, Heather. Peach mango is, is so good. I mean, it's just one of those really, really, really good things. Um, so make sure you're really out there talking to your friends and family, doing a bunch of posts, um, uh, a text message to everybody, a private message, whatever it is, however you can communicate with as many people as possible, but let them know about the peach mango. You'll be surprised as to who contacts you. So be fearless and just send a message out to anyone and everyone. I honestly will just flip through my phone and and go right down the list of who has contacted me or who have I contacted. I think I even went back to January and I went, I, I, uh, this is how I do it. I have a kind of a running list right now of promotions. And so I'll just put in my search bar, mocha or mint or peach or, or whatever it is, whatever that tag is, that's going to give me the majority of the people. And, and I just copy paste to every single one of them. Um, and then after I've gone through that a couple times, like with all the different types of shakes we've come out with recently or free enrollment or anything like that, then I will just go through all of my text messages, every single person that I feel would be good with receiving a text message from me about this. And I'll just copy and paste directly to them. And I've had three people, I need to keep writing down who they are and who I'm ordering for, um, three people reach out and say that I need to order a shake for them. Oh, Shalita. Um, so Shalita and uh, Sherry. Okay, great. So I got to keep track too. Um, real important that you keep track because you're going to probably end up ordering a bunch of people. And here's how I do it, guys. If they just want one or two shakes and they are not a customer or associate with Isogenics, I'll just go ahead and order it in, in someone's account. So occasionally you guys will have me get into your accounts. Um, we just go ahead and, and take those extra orders and go in that way. Hello, Annie. And, and just order the shakes for them. It helps whether it helps you cycle or maybe it helps someone to stay active or whatever it is. But I never keep my own orders. They always go to somebody else. And I try to go towards the bottom as much as possible so that as many people can benefit from it. But whatever works for you in that moment. But reach out. Um, so far today, I've heard from a girl who wants to get started, and the peach mango is just kind of that reason to get started. Uh, I have another girl who I was talking to for probably about a year, another parent at the school, and it's taken her this much time to actually reach back to me, but whatever. Um, so that text message began that conversation again. And then another girl who used to order, she's inactive. She's probably about five PET down from us. So I don't just do my PET. I, I go as far down as I possibly can without taking over anyone else's business. I just, anyone that they don't have an active leader anymore, they automatically go on the list. And, and so she's coming back. Uh, you, you never know how it works. So you just want to reach out to as many people as possible. It's that touch and it's that, I care about you. I wanted you to know. Um, I thought of you. 
uh, that type of feeling that when you reach out to them, oh, hi, sweetie, it's so good to see you, princess. Um, when you reach out to everyone, they really feel your love and you took the time to reach out to them. And then as soon as the conversation begins, immediately get back to them because they took the time to respond to you. Get, take the time to respond back to them and actually have that conversation and just go with whatever conversation they lead you. It automatically is going to come back to isogenics. It's automatically going to come back to ordering because you sent them a message about ordering, right? So you don't have to beat around the bush, but let them kind of lead you just a tiny bit, but you're always in control. All right. So that was a two exciting things. Um, if you weren't on the call when I did my congratulations and you have not seen Lauren Kreider is an Isobody finalist. You've heard this today. Hello, Vicki. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Um, so we're so excited about Lauren. Um, all right, let's see. Where all do we want to go? Go ahead and unmute real fast, everyone. Let's kind of discuss what you guys want to talk about. I was planning on talking about tasting parties. Heather, I know you just did one, and Jody, you have one coming up. And I was just going to talk to everyone a little bit in between about why to do them, how to do them, and all that good stuff. But um, is there anything in particular that you guys are encountering right now that you're experiencing or that you might need a little extra help with? Hello, Erin. And we know Erin's going to be doing some tasting parties. All right. <laughs> Jody, you're the only one that muted or unmuted. Do you have <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do have something kind of exciting because um, we I did uh, the Facebook invite for the tasting party that's going to be at my friend Kelly's house. And two of the people I invited have already said they're going. And one of them, they both have MS. So I'm actually going to have to bone up on that and maybe get some testimonials. Um, but the one has never said a word. She's been on my Facebook since I started Isogenic and has never said anything about any of my posts, never asked me about it, never anything. Well, I invited her to this and she clicked going inside of 24 hours. So it's like, hmm. Nice. <laughs> you know, everything that they say about keep posting, you know, even though you're you know, getting the crickets, just Posting and that's exactly it. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jody, for pointing that out because you really don't know who's watching and how often they're watching, and they will surprise you. Mm -hmm. uh, so and great job. Kind of, she's the kind of person too that, having said that she's going, she'll be there unless right. you know something huge comes up. She'll be there. Okay. Good. Oh, exciting! Yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. All right, Heather, you just held one last Friday, right? Well, we actually have had to reschedule it okay. uh, because we had a death in our church family no. and the funeral fell right on top and it was, it was the right thing to do to, to reschedule it so we could be with the family. So we're going to do it in three weeks. So uh, I'm here to pick up more tips. That's about the same date as Jody's. Are you going to do it on the 31st? Uh, next weekend after that because I won't okay. do that uh, celebration. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, well, we'll be having promo promotions during that time. Ooh, um, so perfect timing. Um, and if you, I'm, I'm going to backtrack just a little bit because I know a couple of you are not able to make celebration. They will be live streaming it. If you guys can get on and live and, and watch the live stream, you'll still feel like you're a part of it. You'll still get the excitement and you'll be in tuned as to what's going on. You do have to plan on sitting in front of your computer pretty much all day for three days, but definitely catch the Tony Robbins. I'll do my best to live video some of it. I'm sure Annie's going to help me live video a decent amount. Um, it is hard to do the live video, so don't count on that. Um, and then, of course, after celebration, they'll always come back with their recaps, and it takes them about anywhere um, starting in about two to three weeks to start pumping out the different uh, recaps that they do. So you'll definitely be able to see all the big pre presentations. And of course, Tony is, is going to be a big part of that. So just know that, you know, we'll definitely be thinking of you during that time. And Heather, make sure you reach out when you're doing your, your launch party when we're there. And we could always do a live video for your friends while you're doing oh, okay. your party. Yeah. Great. So all kinds of fun, fun things you can do. And just know that, you know, that's always a possibility um, whenever you're doing a launch party. And sometimes it may be feasible and sometimes it may not be. 
But in this case, when you've got a ton of us and all of our excitement and the lights and the music, to just reach out and say hi to your friends real fast, that works out beautifully. So give us a little heads up and then um, just have Fiona get, gather us. All right, okay. cool. Okay, Great. All right, so before we kind of really get into some information, what else is going on? Any other questions, any other shout outs, anything else you want to discuss before we move into training? Okay, we're going to continue um, giving more updates in our Isogenics event page. So if you haven't gone in there yet, make sure you mark that you're going and then you'll get all the notifications of everything. Um, and there's there's a lot of different things to cover, so that's why I thought I would just kind of do that. But we've tried to hit on the, the most important things already. Um, so just make sure you stay on top of that. All right, let's talk launch parties. If you have done any sort of launch party before, raise your hand. Oh. Yay! So I think other than Heather, because uh, you have have you done one yet? No. Okay. So this will be your first one. So we've all done something. There are so many different types of lunch parties that you can have. The key is to really, truly build your business is to constantly do something. And so the options, and there's probably so many more. I'm just going to name what we have done in the past and more different things that have come up is we can, um, and we need to do some more, but we can do team Zoom launch parties where everyone on the team will invite everyone to come to our launch number at a specific time. And we've done it two, three ways in the past, actually, where we'll do just like this and we'll pick two to three people to tell their story. Because that's what people want. They want the emotions. They really, truly don't care about the product. I mean, as far as they care about the product, they don't care about the ingredients. They care about what is it going to do for them. What has it done for other people? And more importantly, what has it done for you? So if they know you, they want to know what has it done for you. Make sure you tell your story. Even if you've told it five million times and to the people that are there, that's really one of the most important things to do. So take this time prior to actually having your, your tasting party to really get your 30-second story down. The more you have this down, the easier it's going to say, the more often you're going to do it anywhere, anytime. Um, and if you really, truly want to challenge yourself, and I just did this last week, go to a networking event where you literally have that 20, 30 seconds to make an impression. You will get your spiel down fast. Give it a couple different times and then escape if you want to. Um, but... That is something that's really going to get your story down and you'll never lose that feeling. You'll never lose the words. It will hit you hard or go to a meetup group because they always have you do it there. Any of those type of events. Um, but when you attend one of those and you really focus on your story, again, you'll have it down. So, um, so Zoom team Zoom parties are great. I don't think we'll have a chance to do it before celebration and a couple of you already have something scheduled. So We'll schedule it, and, and very quickly after celebration, let's do a team Zoom party. Uh, maybe even if for someone that's not attending celebration, if you want to help get it all worked out and pick out the guest speakers and we can start inviting, that'd be fantastic. Uh, that's one. I just posted the one that Linda, Raquel, and Greta did, um, and Lauren they did it February 8th. So I just reposted this in Game Changers Biz. These are so much fun. Now, you do have to be a little experienced and a pretty good speaker in order to do what they did for the team. But if you want to pick this up and just grab a friend or a spouse or a partner or even a child, anyone you want to grab, Raquel's done them by herself. I've done kind of, kind of somewhat ones by myself and do one for your friends. It's a great way to, for one, practice, but to get the information out there. So they did it live. They invited everyone through a Facebook event, and, and they actually had everyone in the team invite everyone, and then they did a Facebook party. 
there's a couple things that they learned from doing this as well as that they were really super on top of. So if you want to do something like this, let me know and we'll go over those particulars. Um, if you want to be a part of one of these things and either you live here in Phoenix or you have a couple people you can group together with you, let me know and let's just schedule it. I'm more than happy to do these. I have the space in the office, so we just need to do it. Um, that's another one. You can also do a Facebook party. So again, you'll Facebook the event and then you do the post. We've done it multiple times. I'm going to tell you, I'm really a, kind of a little against um, having the Facebook posts, the number of Facebook posts, the online parties that we've done before. They're very confusing. People get out of whack and then they get frustrated. However, if you want to do a PowerPoint, and just go through PowerPoint slides, that keeps everyone on track. And Isogenics already has those made up. They're in isogenicsbusiness.com. So you just need to go in there, save them, come up with a couple little subtitles for each one, and then make sure that you can speak while you're doing those slides. No one's gonna wanna just look at visuals. People need both visuals and, and verbiage. They need all the sensories in order for it to make sense for them. So whatever you choose to do, there's a lot of options. Talk it out with us, but make sure you have both either pictures or a video and you're speaking. Any questions about any of the online programs? Tell you a little bit more about why we do those. Been any questions so far? Okay, so go ahead, Jody. Um, if you're talking about like we only did one that I was involved in about a year ago where it was the same situation like we're doing right now and I had really great luck with that one because the person that I invited I literally did not invite for them to do isogenics I never thought she would I invited her to, to take me because I was telling my story and she joined right that night so, I mean I think they're actually really um and I, I think someone else had someone on the call that night too that also joined, if I recall. Mm -hmm. but, but we've not done another one of those. I thought that was really effective. They, they really were, and I enjoyed them. Um, Annie, it was right, we went to an event during those that time frame, because you were with me when we did one of our last ones, the one that Fiona actually spoke on. So I'll try to remember the time frame of when and where that was. But you're right, Jody. I'll try to pull those up and and let you guys see them they were extremely effective and and some of the reasons why they were effective uh number one different team members spoke so it gives different team members an opportunity to become a leader or to show their presentation skills or to find out that they have the ability to share their story online and in front of people but through their computer um, everyone did fabulous. We didn't have, uh, every, every story was a success and we gained so much from that and they felt it. They also get to feel everybody's love and the support. So it makes them a stronger person and it gives them the opportunity to tell their story more often because they just did it in a large environment. But for people that are watching and inviting their friends, it is very powerful because it's social proof. It's, this is what happened to me. I'm just a regular person. I just like to hang out in the house with my kids or my dogs or whatever it is, but I decided to give this program a chance, and this is what happened. And people like that. It's not a commercial. They're not actors. They're, you can tell these are just regular, regular, everyday people who are so excited to share their story. And a lot of times, nervous, and that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Show that vulnerability. Hello, Erin. Good to see you now. <laughs> so I love those Jody let's definitely do another one if you want to think um, about a couple particular people or if anyone wants to volunteer right now to share your story and let's just go ahead and schedule one I again we can that one we could do before celebration we could knock that out real fast because that's just inviting people and sharing your story um, so those are easy to knock out uh, and they are highly powerful. And like you said, Jody, you can invite people to listen to your story. You can invite them to just support you, maybe to learn a little bit more about what you do, but not necessarily the intention of joining, but you'll be surprised. Most of on these calls are going to join. That's awesome. Fantastic. Okay, good. 
So those are beautiful. Now for you yourself, um, and we can do them anytime. And that's, that's why I love the online versions because they are fast and easy to do. Nobody has to clean the house. There's no expense involved. Um, it's just invite and get that out there. Now, the big thing when you invite, whether in person or online, is you absolutely have to go crazy inviting. This is a numbers game, and you really will find out that the, the rule is so true. A third of the people you invite will say that they're coming, and then a third of those will actually show. So if you invite 10, you're gonna have one to two people. So you really have to kind of go for the numbers of 50. Uh, and online is even less, because it's so easy to say, yes, I'll be there, right? It's online, I can show up online for half an hour, but then something happens. And, and it's easy to miss. It's as easy to say yes as it is easy to not go. Um, <laughs> so massive, massive, massive numbers. Um, so when you're inviting online, you really truly want to look at a number of 75 to 100 people or more. And there's many ways we can do that. Um, and then we have to follow up. When you're inviting to your party, to your actual house or to a place or wherever it may be, 50 is a good number to look at. Uh, whether it's your total number or if you're doing it together as a team and that's your team's number, whichever. But you want to look at kind of those numbers. Now, how do you invite? Does anyone have any ideas on how you invite people? Multiple ways. And that's what you want to do, multiple things. All right. So number one, you want to personally reach out to people. But we have to live in today's world. All right. So some people you may make a phone call to. Others you may text or a private message um, or a private video, uh, FaceTime, um, something along that line, but some kind of personal touch. And you really have to go with what that person wants. And if you have people that you know they want a phone call and you really want them there, then you need to make that phone call. Um, so you kind of know, you, you can kind of judge and guess who, who likes what. All right, the younger they are, the more technology they want. The older they are, the less technology they want is usually the case. Um, but you have to reach out to them and you need to reach out to people a minimum of three times. So one, to personally invite, two, to remind, and then three for the third reminder. It's imperative that you do at least three. And your general Facebook posts do not count. You have to personally reach out to them. People forget, life gets busy, things happen. And so if they don't hear from you, sometimes they'll be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe they're not having it, so I, I won't go. Um, life just gets super busy and people think different ways. So you always have to do the three reminder or the two reminders and one invite. Now, if you're having the in-person one, you can always ask them to bring something. We talked about this last week. But it makes them obligated. And like Jody, like you just said, this girl that reached out is one of those girls that will for sure come, right? We all know those particular people. I'm pretty much one of them. Um, you know the people that go out of their way to keep relationships. They go out of their way to extend a hand, to help, to be a part of it, whether they have an interest or not. There are a lot of people out there who just do things because they love or they want to support people or they do something like this on their end and they know what it's like. Um, so you can always count on them. So you, you can for sure ask them to bring something, but you, they're probably coming anyways. Um, but for those that you're not sure about, are they actually going to attend, assign them something. But maybe assign them something that you don't desperately need or you already have what you need, but you'll only bring out if they don't show. <laughs> um, so things that people can bring are ice, napkins, paper towels, paper plates, another guest, um, stuff, stuff like that. Nothing expensive. We don't want to put anyone out. Ice is a big one because it is hard for the hostess to run out right before the party and have ice. 
And if someone just stops on their way there, it's super nice and easy. Um, so that's a good one. But that gives them the, I have to do this. I have to do this. Aaron's counting on me to bring the ice. I got to go. So when they're talking to their family and if their family's giving them a little grief, that's their way of saying, I got to go. All right. So we, we can do things like that. Um, now, if you're going somewhere like Jody, you're going to Kelly's house, you can offer to pick up the guests and take them with you. So we do that a lot for events. Um, Annie's fabulous about that. She'll pick up people. She'll meet them. She um, has them meet prior to in a certain location. Again, that kind of obligation that I'm going to be there to take care of you. You just need to get from here and I'll take you here. But if you, um, anytime you're going to a Super Saturday or an event or a tasting party, just pick them up and say, hey, I'll pick you up and I'll take you with me. <laughs> that works out great. Or use the kids. Kids are always a great thing. Whether you have kids or not, using kids is great because let's say it's summertime. My kids are bored, honestly. So if someone offered us an opportunity to get away and go to their house and, and my kids could play in their kids' playroom, whether their kids are there or not, or, or my kids get to watch a special movie at their house, or maybe they have some dogs that my kids would love to play with, you know, you kind of get the picture. I'm probably going to do it just because my kids are bored and, and giving them something different outside of the house is going to be a great opportunity. Plus, parents are bored, right? If they don't work um, during the summertime and they're home with their kids all day, all night long, they're probably going a little crazy right now. So a little social event to have them get out and to be with people is real important. Like Heather was doing the wine event. That's really, really important. And I just read an article today about, and I forgot where I read it, but how hard it is for women to make friends because life is busy with job and kids. It's super hard for people to really truly gain relationships, which is why I love this community because how easy it is, how easy is it for us to gain a relationship within our team? Because it's super easy. You feel the love right away, right? You just have, I just always tell people, as long as you show up, as long as you comment and you post, you're going to feel the love of the team and they're going to instantly love you back. That was sidetracked just for a second. But I talked before with um, Jim Lufkin about values on what my values are. And so he related all of my values to network marketing and family, love, um, freedom, happiness and uh, I think it was it wasn't joy but it was something along that line were all my top five and he's like okay well family you just got a huge extended family by being a part of network marketing love everyone in network marketing loves each other and fast <laughs> and then of course the other ones you can kind of gather from there but so true I mean you come into network marketing and as long as you're visible and people hear you see you they fall in love, you fall in love. It's, it's just instant friendships. So anyways, back to um, back to that. Now I got completely off track. Ah, um, I'm not quite sure. I lost if anyone remembers. So going back to launch parties, but, um, but having people, oh, with, with women, finding friendships, it's really, really hard. So when you offer them an opportunity, Hey, I'm going to have a couple of friends there. It's a great time for you to meet some people. I just had a girl, and she may be listening to this call afterwards, but she's just like, Stephanie, I'm 62 years old. I haven't worked for four to five years. I'm lonely. And that's what I told her. I'm like, just get on our Facebook group, and you'll get your friendships. But there are so many people like that. So when you offer your events, make sure you include that as part of why they want to come. Come and get to know other people. It's social. It's informal. Um, it's fun. People, or if they already know some of the people that are going to be attending, make sure you state their names. That's a big part of why people attend. I've had people join my organizations because they, they just wanted to be with me. And I'm not saying that with me because people do that with you and I've done that with you. But that's how people feel. They just, they're looking for that love and that friendship. 
and they're going to do things that are a little bit out of the ordinary sometimes just to be near that other person or the, the type of people that person is going to attract. So make sure you're talking about that at your events as well as when they talk about becoming a part of our community. We have a, a leader who has um, thought about retiring a little bit and she's like, how could I do that? All of my best friends are here. Right? It's a big part of it. So you got to really think about what all this community offers. Um, all right. So inviting people, so important to do that. Now, Annie does a couple of fun things. Annie will always do a live video. Oh, Annie, did you do one about the peach mango today? I haven't either. So, so Annie is super good at always doing a live video for everything that's a promotion, right? So whether it's inviting people to a Zoom party or a tasting party or a brand new shake that's coming out or a Super Saturday or whatever it is, Annie will just get on Facebook, do a live video um, or Periscope. Sarah also does Periscope and invites people um, right at that moment to learn what she has. Go ahead, Annie. You want to say something? That, yeah, I, I find that, you know, just kind of going on live Facebook in the spur of the moment, just sharing. I tend to have a lot of activity in my private messages, you know, going back and forth. So it definitely, you know, brings the boys to the yard. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, Sarah Boinkin just recently did a Zoom party when we did that contest a few months ago, and she did both a live video, a Periscope, and her Zoom party. And she had over 300 people on her Periscope um, watching it. And I forgot how many, Annie also did a live video for hers and had a couple hundred people, and then you guys had your typical amounts for the actual Zoom parties. So when you're gonna do something, go crazy with it. Bring in more people that don't have the ability to be a part of it and do the Periscope or live video. Wherever your interaction is, wherever your people are gonna be, let them be a part of it no matter what it is. So when we go to celebration, you definitely wanna do some live videos and let bring people into our world. Let them know what our world is about. All right. With uh, that's kind of how you invite people. Any questions so far? Yes, Jody. On the inviting in the Facebook event, like when you set up an event, as long as they have, tell me if this is right. Like they can either click maybe or going, or if they haven't done anything at all, they'll still see things that we post in there, right? Correct. Is it only when they say they're not going that they no longer see notifications of things that happen in there? Yes, and thank you for bringing that up. So that's absolutely true. Now, they may or may not look, but right. they have notification. <laughs> um, so I always suggest to people, especially if it's, a, if it's an online party, don't click cannot go if you really want to know what we're doing because then you can watch the posts that happen in between and then you can look at it afterwards. You don't actually have to attend the event right then and there. It's going to be available afterwards and everything that happens before. Okay, because what I was doing with this one, because it's not until the 30th, but we set up the invite yesterday. Um, what I was planning on doing was posting something maybe daily or maybe every other day, just so I'm not bombarding anyone. Um, but something so that the people who are still thinking about it and haven't clicked can't go. <laughs> well, at least it'll come back up in their notifications and maybe they'll look at it and reconsider if they've forgotten. Just, I was going to post like testimonials, a few testimonials and then different things about product. Is Perfect. that okay? Perfect. So I would definitely suggest um, doing some of the stories. And, okay. and right now we've had a couple big stories just happen. Obviously, mm -hmm. Lauren Kreider's story, you definitely want to promote that. And then yeah. again, Ice of Body Challenge when you do that. Um, you, you know, pick, pick some of the stories that have made a difference to you, but always go a wide variety. Do male and female. Do athletic, weight loss, and healthy living. So do a wide variety so you can capture everything. And just um, you know, ask that person beforehand if you can share their story, unless they've already told you, you can share it. If it's in any of our Facebook groups, um, especially uh, ISA Body, ISA Testimonials, or any of those, 
they are giving you permission to share. That's kind of a part of when you put your story in there, you're saying, go ahead, everybody. And if it's game changers, go ahead and just ask them. Um, and then they also like that when you do that because you're celebrating them and they love the fact that your, their story is going to make a difference for you and your friends. So that's good to do. Um, product. Definitely do some product and pick, pick a theme if you want. Don't go too crazy. And if you look in isogenicsbusiness.com at their PowerPoint, they will actually give you those product slides. So you can just grab and paste those. But you either want to do our pillars, which, you know, of course, are um, shakes, ionics, cleanse, the vitamins, and isogenesis. Um, or pick a theme like the AMP line or something along that line. You don't want to go crazy. We have 77 different products, so we don't want to overwhelm them. Or the skincare. Um, and, and too often, we're kind of forgetting about the skincare. So we need to make sure we let people know about our skincare product. That was how we got Erin's mom um, started, and she's actually attending Celebration. She really, truly did not have an interest because she belonged to another network marketing company until we talked about the skincare line. And then she's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> skincare I'm in and she bought right away um, so if, if anyone and everyone wants to do a uh, skincare promotion in Game Changers Healthy Living that'd be fantastic um, and make sure you add that um, I would be careful on how many posts you do prior and the reason for that is I'm a poster obviously um, and I love to give information out but I've had a lot of feedback over the years that they like, people like surprises. People like to not receive all of the information beforehand because then there's no reason to attend. Um, and, and they don't want to be overwhelmed, especially if they, well, either way, they are attending or they don't want to attend and they're still getting the information. So um, you've got two weeks roughly, you know, maybe like, five or six real powerful posts. Okay, and keep it like testimonials and people, not so much on the product? You can do some of the product, and the product videos are good too. Um, so you just gotta really kind of finely pick and choose. Now like the day of, you can do a little bit more to go crazy. I don't have a magic answer, I wish I did. We've just been experimenting over the years as to what people like. and. So I get feedback both ways, but of course you get feedback more on don't post as much versus post as much as you're posting. <laughs> well, I posted the Mary Evans uh, cleanse video last night when I actually, I posted that right away when I posted the event and invited right. everyone. And that actually brought one of the people in. Good. So it's going. It's a, I mean, that's a great video. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's, yeah. And, and so with that, you know that at least one person in your audience is watching the video. So if that's the case, maybe put in a story that deals with cleansing because you just went cleansing and then do another video and follow that up with that product line with a story. So maybe do the amp line and then bring in Lauren Kreider. Um, or maybe bring in, um, uh, you know, maybe just our overall program, Transform Your Life and bring in um, Greta J or something. And so you've got a wide variety of what's happening. Perfect, okay. So tasting parties can happen anywhere and everywhere. And when we did that contest a few months ago, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And I think three of you participated in that contest. So Annie did a Zoom party. Um, Christina and Mary Kay did a pool party and Aaron did a tasting party and all three of you were extremely last minute. All right, I'll jump in. I'll do it. I was planning on doing something anyways, get a chance to win a hundred bucks. Let's go for it. And you all had success, right? So whether one person comes or two people or 10 people or 12 people, it's going to depend on how many people you invite, but even one person starting can make all the difference to a business. So you want to do them as much as you possibly can. Um, with Christina and Mary Kay, they are fabulous at doing Facebook events. So if they're going to have an in-person party, they will also do a Facebook event 
and invite anyone and everyone to come to it and they make it public. So you can either do public or private. And if you make it public, it goes out to the general public. So you might get people that you're not necessarily friends with on Facebook. That's where Annie does her live videos. So everyone's kind of got a little tweak as to how you guys like to do it. Um, but those are different ways to get it out there to more people. Um, Mary Kay and Christina, who just came on video, thank you guys, hello. Uh, they also do something uh, quite fun. Whenever they're, they, they purposely deliver the box, the initial box to their new person. And whenever they do that, they pick a public environment and then they go ahead and throw a tasting party or a launching party right afterwards. Like, well, hey, we're gonna be at Starbucks at 6 p.m. If you wanna know more about isogenics, come and join us. Right, Christina, Mary Kay, do you guys wanna chat about that? Yeah, we just, um, like you said, it was pretty simple. We had to meet someone in uh, North Phoenix and uh, we decided, hey, since we're gonna be out there and it's 45 minutes away from our house, we're just gonna kind of put a tasting party together and uh, see you know, if anybody shows up. Um, we did one other one, but uh, we had a couple people show up when, but so, you know, it's at least one person showing up and at least we're able to have the ability to get more people to come along. So, which has been nice. So we've been busy this month, so we haven't done anything this month um, as of yet, but we were just talking about that as we we're at the grocery store that uh, as soon as we get back from celebration, we're going to be rocking those again because we actually you know had a few people show up and we need to do that more right people like to come and they get so much information out of it and if you do it right you're really not going to spend much money you might spend a little and and we can talk about how to not spend much but you're constantly showing people that you're a business you're really truly in this people can count on you when they think of nutrition they think of you when they think of of how they can help themselves, they think of you. And that's what you wanna do. So whether whether they actually show up or not, when you get that branding going on, that they can count on you, and that they know to call you when that time is right, that's what you're looking for. I mean, obviously you want them to come, but that brand needs are very important as well. Now, Aaron did one extremely last minute at his restaurant. And Aaron, do you wanna share what you did there? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh, there was a gentleman that I've been kind of had contacted for the business and kind of playing back and forth. And, um, he's also my one of my drivers for one of the companies we deal with. So we just scheduled it. I knew I was going to see him on Thursday. So I just had, had everything sitting there. And it just happened that I don't remember why, but we ended up getting a couple other salesmen coming in and a couple other drivers. And they were waiting to talk to me. And the only way they could get to me is that they got to the where the little blender was. So we just kind of, and I got pictures of everybody trying it. And, uh, you know, it's funny. They, they were all kind of a little nervous because they were supposed to be working. But um, I did get to, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, oh, contact information. No one's got in, but there's one who, the gentleman who originally was there, he just moved to Florida. And that's why he's been kind of, he was kind of waiting to move. But uh, so I think I got at least one solid potential for that fantastic and and so correct me if I'm wrong but you pretty much just kind of gathered them grabbed your shakes and your blender and made them a shake right yeah it was completely I, I wasn't even yeah definitely <laughs> and that's fabulous I do that all the time anytime I get a chance if and I, I've told my children if they come in our house you know that they're going to get a shake or some kind of hydrate and they're walking away with information. Um, it's, it's just that it's, a, it's an opportunity. If they are in your little circum, circumference, I didn't say that right, but if they're in your little area, then you have the ability to do something as long as you have the product and the ability. So anything you do really truly is a tasting party, whether it's with one person, two, three, four, five, understand that when you do that, they don't always have to be big deals. They can be these tiny little spur of the moment situations. All you're trying to do is 
have people that haven't tried the product before taste your product. That's a tasting party. It really, truly is. So I think it was um, uh, Damon's wife was dropping off her sister's product or something like that. And she gathered a couple of the other girls from the office. They went into the kitchen and she made everyone a portion of a shake. And, and so, you know, there's so many ways to do that. And, and so just think creatively, think about who's in your path, who's in an area that you can make it happen, or can you go to someone's work? And let me tell you about one scenario that led to a huge account. Um, a different company was my company prior to this, but I, I asked a, a girlfriend of mine, hey, I have this brand new skincare I really need to learn how to talk about it and share it with people. Can you invite your girlfriends and we'll do like a little facial? And she's like, sure. She's real helpful. She's, you know, she's one of those party throwers. We all know the party throwers, right? I'm one of them. Uh, you know who they are. They're going to do something if they can. And so she gathered her friends and neighbors and we did a facial party. And while I was there, her one girlfriend was like, hey, my work is going to be doing a health and wellness event this weekend. Would you like to come? And I'm like, absolutely. So I went and I met a decent amount of people. Somehow during one of my conversations with someone, I found out that their company actually purchases nutrition products for the entire office. And when I say office, it was actually nine offices. And, and they took me back to their kitchen and they showed me the product and all of that. And over time, I worked out some meetings and some deals, and we got our nutrition in. And for a year and a half, they bought $5,000 worth of nutrition from us every single month that they would give to their employees for free. And that account happened because I asked a girlfriend to hold a facial party for me. So you never know what's going to happen. Sorry, I got anything. Um, ask people, just ask them, don't be shy, be fearless, be bold. Hey, I'm really, really needing to build my business or I'm really excited to build my business or I really need to learn how to talk about it. I really need to practice. Can you help me? People love to help. They just don't know how and they don't think about it because they're not in your head. So when you turn around and you just ask them, can you help me? Can you invite like your mom and your sister and maybe name off particular people and I'll bring all of the goodies. I'll bring everything. It won't cost you anything. Um, and just allow me to practice talking about the nutrition system that I use. I'm just going to give you stuff. How does that sound? Most likely you're probably going to get a couple people interested in starting. You can turn that person into an associate, maybe consultant, and you just expanded your business, but you have to ask. And if you have the ability to go to their work, a lot of people like having something during the lunch hour or right after work. They're bored, they want a break from their work, they want something different to do. And if you just take a half an hour, no more than 40 minutes, and you come in and quickly do a simple little display, blend up some shakes, and cut up some bars and, and feed them lunch that day. You know our product, you actually get very satiated, so you're not giving them a ton of stuff, um, just a little bit. And, and then they walk away with some information and hopefully you know, they enjoyed what they heard. Do that or do it right after work. Um, but really kind of get creative and really think about all the opportunities and all the scenarios you can do to host something. So, uh, you know, Mary Kay and Christina do pool parties. Um, they do their drop off the box events. Erin did it at the work, wine events, uh, whatever it is, you can throw isogenics into everything. I'm working on selling my house, as you guys know. Every opportunity I can, I have isogenics there, whether it's in the uh, water jug and I have hydrate with the container there so they can read about it, know about it, or I cut up bars and I feed them bars, or like today on open house tour, I had both the hydrate and some bars cut up. You know, I'm going to throw my business in anywhere I possibly can, not be shy about it. People are looking. So let's talk a little bit about what do you provide, and then we'll answer any questions and, and uh, get off for tonight. 
but you do want to keep it very simple. And there's many reasons for that. One, none of us have a, an extraordinary amount of money to just spend and provide everybody a bar or a shake or whatever. Plus, whatever we do, we're showing the other people who are thinking about doing this what they need to do. So you have to be very duplicatable. And if you go crazy, I've gone to the parties where um, our associates will bring out the wine glass, or not wine glasses, but the plastic champagne glasses, and they have bars cut up of every single bar and slim cake and fiber bar that we have and chips. And it's just a massive, massive amount of food. They're not going to get anyone else interested in doing that. It's fun. It's pretty. It's elegant. But it's not going to create the duplicatable system. So keep it simple. Two to three bars, uh, different kinds. If you buy a shake, uh, shaker cup sampler, it comes with two bars and a fiber bar. Uh, they're always a little bit different. It might come with a hydrate um, and maybe an e-shot. That's really, truly all you need, except for maybe um, oh, some shake in order to have a party. So you just cut that bar up in very tiny pieces. I usually get about 10 pieces out of a bar and about six or seven out of a fiber bar. I usually only go through one or two shake packets and I serve them in the little Dixie cups um, and then just a little bit of a hydrate if I choose to do hydrate on top of that. And, and so hopefully this is all product that I already have. Um, sorry, it doesn't look like it's charging and I'm not sure why not. Should be charging. Um, but it, um, um, I'm using product that I already have unless I had to buy some more bars. And sometimes I might do some chocolates. But use stuff that you already have. Don't go out and go crazy spending a ton of money on this. And, and just napkins and little Dixie cups are needed. Um, you don't need to serve them food. They're not coming for dinner. They're coming to taste the products. Do exactly that. Taste the products. If you're doing a theme, you got to follow your theme. Um, let's see. As far as supplies and, and uh, things to have. You always want to hand out the enrollment forms. So either you either have enrollment forms, which by the way, at celebration, they will sell them. And they're, I, I always prefer enrollment forms. Um, and it's buy two, get one free. Um, go together with someone else and split it up between the three of you if you just need one packet. Um, or print them out online. Just Google Isogenics enrollment form um, or isogenicsbusiness.com will have it. And you automatically hand that to each person. And if you want to, you know, school school starting up right now. So if you want to stock up on supplies, uh, the little folders, two pocket folders are great. And, and a couple things of pens are really all you're truly going to need. And hand everyone a folder so they have something to write on, a pen so they have something to write with, and a form so they have something to fill it out. And you do that in the beginning. So you do your little introduction and say your story and your name and go through that. And then just go ahead and hand them an enrollment form and say, hey, I just want to give this to you so you can write down any questions. Or when I say something in particular that hits you, you can make a note of it and we can talk about it after the party. All right. But you want to have the expect. And then when you're ready to order, you already have your form and you can start filling that out. So you want to walk in with the expectation that they are going to order. They are going to enroll. And we're done.